welcome everyone today we are going to discuss about wc command in unix which is word count word count can be used to check how many lines are there in a file how many characters are there in a file how many words are there in a file these things we, you can understand so the way you run it you give wc and then the name of the file f1 then it would return something like this where the first column tells the number of lines second number of words third number of characters and then the file name itself so if you check the file f1 you can clearly see there are two lines five words and 24 characters when i say 24 characters it also includes the white spaces uh, same thing if you do f2 uh, f2 has more lines so or more characters let's check wc on f2 you will see the values are not different according to f1 and f2 you can see the output now one can also do one more thing which is you can also combine f1 and f2 together with the wc command means you can give more than one file as a input to wc so i am giving f1 and f2 now you can see the first line shows the information of file f1 second line shows the information of file f2 and the last line is a total of f1 and f2 so you can analyze uh, it's very clearly that it's a total of lines uh, words and characters okay now i'll talk about the switches the first switch is l switch small l this minus uh, l switch gives you the information of total number of lines in any file so here if I run on F1 I can see the total number of line in F1 is 2 same way if I run uh, this command on F2 the total number of line in F2 is 3 same way you can also run F1 and F2 together and this will give you the total number of line of F1 and F2 and then total will just add up or sum up 2 and 3 which would be 5 that's the first switch Moving to the next switch, which is counting the words with minus W. So if I run F1 and F2 together or individually also you can run. I just explained before, right? So let's run it, uh, you know, together. So F1, F2. So first one is total number of word in file F1, which is 5. Total number of word in file 2 is 7. And then if you add 7 and 5, that's a total of 12. The third switch is minus m which will show you the total number of characters in any file so if i run wc and the switch is minus m so minus m and if you give file 1 and file 2 and you check then the total number of characters in file 1 are 24 of total number of characters in file 2 f2 is is 38 and that's make it make it a total of 62 characters in so this is how you can also check how many characters are there in file any file you, you want to check now the last option is uh, minus capital L this minus capital L will show you the number of characters for the longest line so for example in F1 the the longest line has 15 characters I can show you so if I check F1 so this is the longest line right you can see it but the total number of characters in this line are 15 so minus L option will give you the total number of characters in in a longest line of of any file okay so uh, this is about the options I wanted to talk uh, about a WC now I will also give you some examples on how can you also use uh, some applications uh, when you are uh, working on Linux how can you use WC so one one thing uh, so if I run the ls command which is the list command you can see there are four out, uh, four files and directories as, as listed here how can you count it so it's very simple you can just write ls pipe and then you give the word count minus l command uh, after pipe it will count how many total number of uh, entries are there or files or directories are there you can see there are four okay now ls command doesn't as you all know ls command right if you don't know about ls command you can just ask me or i can probably make a video separate video later but uh, ls command doesn't show the hidden files hidden files are the are those files which are the directories or hidden directories are those directories 
uh, way which is start with a dot in the front so the to check to, to to list the hidden file or directory hidden directory you can do ls minus a now you can see there is a hidden file dot f3 is also present but we did not count it because ls never listed it so if in order to also count dot uh, f3 uh, or the hidden file what you can also do is you can do ls minus a and then after ls minus a you can you should you can use the e grab command okay e grab command with minus v switch so e grab minus v switch will exclude uh, the pattern which we are trying to write here so what I will try to write here is that anything which ends with a dot I don't want that entry so for that I have to write a regular expression which is uh, backslash dot means the dot character and dollar sign is the match at the end of the line so here this will represent uh, the this dot and this dot because these two I don't want right now let's run it and check you can see now those dot and dot dots are gone so we have to calculate uh, some total find the total of these or check that how many entry entries are there and we can do it by WC minus L command and you can see now there are five okay so same way you can also check uh, you know at any path this this and uh, total number of hidden file regular file and directories at any path so let's say if I add a tilde here um, at this path okay like this tilde so this tilde will go to the home directory of mine and then run and check how many files directories and hidden files are there and give you the total number so it's a 609 at my case you can check at your end and uh, lastly I would also like to tell how can you use one more command here so let's say there is a wc minus w for word count and if i check the number of word in file f1 there are five but let's say if i don't want to list or i want to print f1 itself how can you do so you can add a cut command and cut the first character if you cut the first character which is five the output would be that cut character so you can see now it's only five and another way of also doing it by using the input redirect sign and then just give the file name after input redirect sign like this and uh, this will also eliminate the printing of file f1 so i hope you found this uh, video useful go through it if you don't understand go through it again and again just to make sure you understand it better try these commands on unix if you have questions please ask in the comment section do subscribe like the video and also encourage your friends to watch these videos share it thanks everyone bye